welcome to online classes to first year bcom students subject financial accounting ppt prepared and presentation are doing by mr vinay kumar c first i would like to introduce our department we are glad to introduce our department firstly i introduce dr panduranga naik beloved principal of the college he is specialized in financial accounting and taxation having more than 30 years of teaching experience and also i would like to introduce ms akila pai assistant professor and head of the department of commerce she is also specialized in financial accounting and as well as cost accounting myself i am vinay kumar c assistant professor nss officer and also i specialize in financial accounting and marketing more than 10 years of teaching experience along with us we are having eight experienced faculties also working in our department these are the syllabus prescribed by mangalore university syllabus the first unit it relates to introduction to accounting and at this chapter we are going to discuss the various concepts of accounting like going concern concept accounting period concept business entity concept accrual concept and convention of consistency along with these things we are also discuss the indian accounting standards and their policies the second unit it completely relates to accounting for a professional and at this chapter we are going to discuss the opportunities to the commerce students is it the accounting is a professional professional thing or not the next unit is a rectification of error this chapter includes the classification of errors and preparing the trial balance before and after preparing final accounts here also we are going to prepare the suspense account after preparing the financial account the rectification in the next trading period and the profit and loss adjustment account preparation the next chapter is relates to the depreciation accounting here we are going to discuss the meaning of different depreciable assets factors determining the economic life of the assets a method of depreciation like straight line method reducing balance method and sinking fund method in the next chapter is the final accounts of sole trading concern preparation of trading account and profit and loss account and balance sheet is the part of this chapter and last chapter is final accounts of non trading concern under this chapter we are going to discuss the meaning and treatment of revenue and capital items so first chapter is introduction to accounting we are all are familiar with accounting so basically the accounting which is helps to a businessman and also for the various user accounting means the art of recording a classifying 
and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transaction and events which are in part of list of a financial character and interpreting the result thereof so let us discuss the history of accounting under this we can notice that some sort of accounting was in existence even in ancient times there are adequate evidence that accounting was practiced in india in the ancient period example kautilya's arthashastra during those days the business was conducted on very small scale the well developed accounting system was not prevailed but the modern accounting originated in the 15th century where the double entry principles of accounting was propagated by luco basilio dated 1494 during that period gradually the development of large scale operations led to the increase in the number of business transaction hence they started keeping the records for all the transaction during the industrial Re- revolution as resulted in large scale production which led to the establishment of joint industrial organization so under the meaning of accounting we are going to discuss so what is accounting so i already told it is a art of recording so under the recording we are going to use a different uh, procedure so those procedure that means in the form of a ledger we are going to record the a business transaction again we are going to classify those information into various and finally we summarize and prepare the balance sheet in the form of a money transaction this also to the ultimate the end user we will take uh, one more definition towards accounting according to the american institute of uh, certified public accountants defines the accounting as the art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transaction and events which are in part of list of a financial character and it interpreting the result thereof so next move on to the next topic the functions of accounting basically accounting is often called the language of business the basic functions of any language to serve as a mean of a communication accounting also serves these functions based on the definitions we are going to identify the various the functions of accounting the first one is identifying the transaction so here a transaction is an exchange in which each participant receive or sacrifice the value it is the event that take place in business an entity means an economic unit that performs economic activity that means uh, maybe the common students we are familiar with uh, those things so any business transaction for example you are going to purchase a furniture so what is the journal entry the furniture account data to cash account so this is the uh, transaction that is the business transaction okay we are going to identify what we are going to purchase the furniture so furniture is a a part of a business transaction similarly the cash also a part of a business transaction so how much cash we are spending towards the furniture so that is what we are going to identify next move on to the recording so already i given that that example that helps it is concerned with the recording of identified and measured financial transaction in an ordinary manner the accounting is concerned with recording the business transaction in terms of money so here with the help of a journal 
that is the original entry called a journal this book may be subdivided into various uh, subsidiary books on the basis of nature and the size of a business classifying classifying is also the part of a function of accounting it is concerned with the classification of record transaction as to group the transaction of similar type of at one place that means uh, under those uh, under example the furniture account is is going to prepare the cash account is also prepared so the furniture account and cash account is called as a ledger so like that we are going to classify the data next summarizing it is concerned with the summarization of the classified transaction in a manner useful to the users so how it is useful to the end user how we can make it as a useful material so like that that means we need to prepare the financial statement that financial statement includes trading account profit and loss account and the balance sheet under that we are going to summarize the overall information that means in the balance sheet we, we shown that the, how much furniture we are purchased how much sales we are done in the entire year in a single um, ledger we are going to identify so summarization is the part of the functions of accounting next analyzing it is concerned with the establishment of relationship between the various items it is the purpose is to identify the financial strength and weakness of the enterprises what is the purpose we are anal- we are analyze the accounting only the purpose of we should know whether the company is successfully running so how you are going to identify that company is successfully running only through a profit or loss next interpret it the record financial data is interpreted by the end user that means it is asked to the ultimate user to make a judgment about the financial condition and profitability of the function the accountant should interpret the statement in a useful manner so as to enable the user to make a reason a decision finally communicating communicating is the result of interpretation of financial statement to the end user for forming a policies it helps in the decision making and execution of a plan next i move on to the accounting principles it is said that the accounting is a science a science is an organized body of knowledge consisting of general principles having universal application according to g a a p general accounting general accepted accounting principles may be defined as those rules of actions or conduct which are derived from the from experience and practice and when they prove useful they became accepted as accounting principles one more definition american institute of chartered accountant public accountants the principles which have substantially authoritative support became a part of the general accepted accounting principles this accounting principles our practices depends upon how will they meet the following three criteria the first criteria is relevance here a principle is relevant to the extent it results in information that is meaningful and useful to the user of the accounting information the second criteria is objectivity objectivity means reliability and trustworthiness a principle 
is objective to the extent the accounting information is not influenced by personal bias next feasibility a principle is feasible to the extent it can be implemented without much complexity or cost traditional accounting principles have been classified as accounting concepts and accounting conventions accounting concepts are the fundamental idea or the basis assumption followed in theory and practice of accounting accounting convention are the customs and practice which have been in force for a long period in other words they are the customs or the practices followed by accountant as a guide in the preparation of financial statement thank you